How's everybody doing today? Um, this video is to go over how to keep your RTX 3090s cool while crypto mining through the summer and just some of the things I do with my four 3090s. Um, I know last year I always had to throttle back the memory because everything would overheat because I like to keep my stuff under like 90 degrees on the memory in my opinion. Um, I mean you can go to 94, 96 but I really don't like to. I look at the longevity of these cards and that kind of stuff. So what we have here today, this is a tough edition of the RTX 3090. It's a pretty good card. Um, it's actually a little bit smaller too, if it's a kind of card you want where maybe you have a little bit smaller case. Um, it has two power pins. Of course, right now, this is just the cooler in the box I'm showing you, just for the intro of this video. And then this is the RTX 3090 um, Ace Aorus uh, Master, and this is one of the Gigabyte's cards. They've actually improved the cooling on this cooler a little bit, but in my opinion, it's still not enough on the back memory. Um, I'm sure this card is a 3090 Ti would probably be better having all the memory on the front. Um, but both of these cards are actually pretty good cards, and um, I'll get to showing you in a minute on how I cool them and keep them cool through the summer. And, and this actually is keeping them cool without heating up my room at the same time. Or minimal heating on my room at the same time. Um, okay, well let's move over here and I'll show you what we got on my OC tune. Sorry for the glare on everything. So you can see right now we have both of those cards. I forget which is which, but One's running at 78 degrees on the memory. One's running at 80 degrees on the memory. Um, they're both running at 1300 megahertz. And they're both getting about 122 to 123 mega hash. And they're extremely stable in this configuration. Um, both around in the 40s on the GPU. Uh, pretty much. Um, and that's kind of what it looks like as far as when we get to how, how well these cards are running. Um, I think the whole both these cards together they show 290 on the power but they're really pulling about 350 to 370 each is kind of what they're the true power when you look out at the wall um, I have power meters on all my rigs so I kind of monitor exactly how much power I'm pulling on each circuit and we'll go back here this is thing is kind of in an odd spot but when you see how I have it connected, you'll understand because it's really close to a window. Because the whole key in this is to water cool everything but not make my my uh, my room in here. Because this is just my media room where I have my projector. Because I don't want it to be a million degrees. My wife doesn't want it to be a million degrees either. I'm trying to get down here so y'all can see. So you can see right now, and I'll have a lot of this stuff linked in the description if y'all want to buy any of this stuff. Um, this little meter thing right here is amazing. Um, pretty simple little thing. I think it's about $60, but it, to me it's worth it because I can come in here. I know if my flow is about 145 on this pump, and I'm only using one side of this pump, but it has actually two if you ever need it. So I do have a lot of hosing in this. So the fluid's running about 96, which really is amazing um, for this setup. And you can see both of these are... Just right beside each other. I should have got this little tube a little longer, but they, it actually all works out pretty well. Um, you can kind of see both. And this is water cooled on the front and the back. And that's why the memory is so so uh, cool on this whole setup. Um, let's see. So what we're going to look at now is how we cool this radiator wise. Um, so I use an AC Infinity fan in this setup also, and I'll show you that. But here we go look right here at the window. And this big, it's a, I forget exactly what brand, but I can put the brand in the, um, actually no, it's Titan Rig. Titan Rig is the, the rig, is what this is called. So it's a, a fairly large radiator. Um, the fans I think I got on Amazon um, I can leave a link to those if anybody's interested. They're just high pressure fans. You can actually feel the, the air pretty good going through them. And then these other two radiators are actually going to my other rig over here. And this is my 
uh, Threadripper rig. Um, these run a little hotter because they don't have as good of a, a radiators. Because they're, they're running off of these two radiators right here. Which aren't quite as efficient as that big uh, Titan rig one up there. So you can see all the fans on them. These have fans on the other side. So they're sucking the air. Um, but they're still running. Let me see. They're still running in the high 80s on the memory. Which is fine. Um, I can show you that. Because we were looking at room t uh, temperatures on the other, the other two right here. So those were like 78 and 80. I can come over here and show you my room temp. The room's still a little warm because I got other cards in here, but still, the temperature outside is probably in the 80s right now, and the room temperature 78.6, and that's with minimal air conditioner on right now. So this room, to me, is still comfortable for what it is, and I can show you this. So essentially what I got over here, you can see all my son's toys, is what I did is I essentially took a piece of cardboard, and y'all could make this so much like better if you wanted to. Let me pull this. This is my projector. You can see this thing is just sitting in the window like that. So we're sucking in air there. So we're sucking in outside air. So we're not using the room air to cool through the radiators. So you kind of keep the air like separate. Because I know you can get a humidity and all that stuff if you really allow air to come in like that. And it can be kind of annoying. So the hose just runs under here. And this is an AC Infinity, essentially just blower fan. These are like used for grow tents. And that's all it's doing. It's pulling in out, outside air all the way around. And I like making stuff out of cardboard because it's cheap. Um, and one second, and I can show you this right here. So you can see when it's turned on. Right now I have it off because I don't want it making so much noise. But let me see here. One second, and I'll lay this down, and I'll show you what it looks like in the window. Sorry about that. And so essentially, it just fits in the window like that. Cardboard, this part of it's fairly cheap, so you can go, cardboard's cheap, so you can kind of get it, cut it like you want it to, fit it there. So essentially, we got over there pulling air in from outside, bringing it through, and blowing through, really between four of these 3090 cards is probably like 1300 watts of heat. So that's 1,300 watts of heat that's not even going into your room. So even if you had like, you got four, or really you could probably do more depending on your window size. And really you just need two windows to do this, to, one to pull air in, one to blow it out. And you could cool a good bit of stuff if you get enough radiators that can fit in a window to do it. And then that's without heating up your room and your house. So this that works out very well for that. Um, so I'll leave everything a link in everything that I have here in the description. So essentially, if anybody has 3090s and they want to cool them off, and this even works even for like this right here because I still can use this for gaming and stuff at the same time. So it's still amazing for cooling for that. Um, and I mean, I actually enjoy how this whole thing works. Um, I can leave a link to a lot of this stuff in the description. If y'all have any questions, y'all can let me know or where I got any of this stuff. But this is a very good way to cool everything. And um, let's see, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to look at or go over. But I think that's about it. Um, it all works very well. Um, I'm waiting for the hot, hot part of the summer. But I, I feel everything, even now with it being in the 80s outside... All this stuff still runs pretty well. I think even once we get into the 90s or upper 90s, I think we've still got enough headroom there to where all this stuff can just run and full out without having any issues on the cards. And, okay. Uh, thank y'all very much for watching. If you like this video, please like it. Um, that shows me that the content I'm making is worth it for the community that's out there for this kind of stuff. Um, 
honestly, you could leave a dislike if they'd let you just to say you didn't like it. Um, I, I kind of like the knowing if what I'm putting out there is good. Um, I like putting videos just to, to show people uh, maybe stuff that's not already out there or different ways to do things. Um, but I guess that's how it goes. Um, if you want to support this channel also, all the links, the Amazon links, those are affiliate links. And just by clicking on them, you actually support my channel. You don't even have to buy anything if you don't want to buy anything. But just by clicking on those links, it, it gets traffic through there. Um, okay, thank you all very much, and you all have a good day.